maximum HP. I'm gonna get this the iron pumpernickel. No pain, no gain, bro. Yes. Anything else that we can change? Accessories, quest items, books. The delicious mutton and, uh, and uh, okay, no. Also, how are we with the uh, 187? Okay, Berg's effect. What is this? Rotten stump is crawling with worms. The worms are crawling within it. There's a chaotic mess of animal trucks leading in all directions. Take a closer look. You identify several sets of trucks leading away from the cabin. Follow the duck tracks, the horse tracks, the cow tracks, human footprints, cat tracks, badger tracks, limb tracks. Okay, let's see over here. It's a ramshack cabin. Maybe a, a, ca a ram cabin shack. Step inside. Couple of soggy bedrolls. Full of ashes, they're cold. Seems like nobody's been here for a while. Spare car tire leaning against. Investigate. Thread pattern of this tire identifies as is a Lincoln, which sounds like an impressive piece of deduction. But honestly, the top hat and beard were a dead giveaway. Whoever was here last must have left in a hurry. Still a poker game in progress. Draw cards until you beat all the hands that were left on the cable and the table. Then you collect your wins. Thank you. Thanks. Pot has been demoted from soup to chamber. Bleach. Eat. Rusty old four pile, uh, fire power steel. Pretty sure they're in me meant to be operated indoors. Nothing in this jar. Though. Gab with Gabby. Shoot the breeze. I sure hope Charles is still okay. Charles is full of resources. Uh, Gabby is certain he will be dandy and fine. So it's a case if we just wander off and do side quests for a while? Sure. We need to be on the lookout for the gate or main Jessica warned me about. They sound like nasty customers. Yes, so entitlement and demanding to see management. Okay. At least we got some decent weather. It was raining like the other day. This would be the worst. Rain is so great though. Gabby loves it. I sure will, go Goblin. You're packed. Practically mushroom. Oh ho, so you must like a banana then. Crabs. Okay, sorry. Haha, <laughs> okay. Okay, that's it. That was so Lincoln. I don't know if there's anything else that we can see here. Tree scrolling with some kind of tiny nasty smooth box. Okay, we're gonna follow the human footprints. You follow the human footprints, they lead to a, let's call it an improvised latrine, a few yards away from the cabin. You decline to investigate first. Follow the dog tracks. Um, you follow the dog tracks, which leads you to a lengthy sequence of locations that are zero interest to non dogs. Follow the horse tracks. You follow the horse tracks to some water. You don't drink it. I mean, why would you? It's nasty swamp water. Agreed. You follow the cow tracks. You follow the cow prints to a big hole in the ground, next to which lie a pair of shoes with fake cow, uh, cow hoops nailed to the sole. Huh. Got an item. Cow shoes. Okay. So we got another walking stupid thing. Cow shoes. Walk like a cow. What? This is just regular thing. Wooden sandals with carved hoods on the bottom. Wearing this would be a real fashion statement. Specifically, I do not understand fashion. Makes you clump around like a cow. Oh, look at this. We're, we're living uh, cow tracks, you see? Yeah, well, I don't like those. We're not walking stupid with those. Hmm. About this one. Yes, now we're walking stupid. Okay, so dog tracks, horse tracks, cow tracks, human footprints, cat tracks. You follow the cat tracks, but after a few minutes they lead to a blue tree you're not willing to climb. 
Because I'm being honest, it's really true you're not capable of climbing. I was just trying to preserve your dignity. I appreciate that. Badger tracks. Start following the badger tracks, but after a few minutes, you realize that this some court of action might culminate in you encountering an actual badger. So you change your mind. Terrifying animal. Just absolutely moves. Never seen a badger. Follow the tire tracks. You follow the tire tracks until you lose track of them in the water near a particular submerged cave. Location unlocked. Moonshiner's cave. Go back to the cabin. Okay, so we got a new thing. Sorry. The map of the swamp is a sponge. Moonshiner's cave. Okay, before that, let me just go to Crystal Lake. And go to the pet store. Because we need to get the, the boon of the cat. Uh, check the meat return, buy the soda, continue your way. Okay, we're gonna pet this cut. You get Dottie's boon. Okay. So as you can see, plus one moxie. That is a good boon. Okay. Let's go. Actually, let's go back to Crystal Lake. I mean, Ocean City. Truncheons and bludgeons, you see? Whoa. Chopkey Picker is a big, beefy, friendly looking guy. Hey, bro. Well, hello there, my friend. James Jorgensen. Glad to meet you. He gra uh, grabs your hand in a big, meaty handshake. Do you sell weapons there? Oh, yeah. If you need any kind of device that takes advantage of leverage and momentum to apply a large amount of force to a small game pick point, you come to the right place, you betcha. But what's for sale? Tenderizing hammer. Muscle. 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 I might have screwed up because all of these are muscle based weapons and I am a moxie based character. So I think we'd screwed up. Let's go to the Call of War surplus. Dubious grenades. That's for sale, bro. Call of War's medals. Gain 5% extra from. Okay, no. Extraordinary Edition, Deal 5, Orchestra Strike, no. Uh, deal stun to all enemies. This is what I need. I need any things that do a lot of damage to a lot of people. Recover, bad for you, smelling salts. Uh, corroded Cavalry thing. This mysticality, the sardines. Put out everybody in your side who is in combat. Okay. I think we're good here. Let's see. Bertram's Bakery. Increases your mysticality, moxie. Physical armor, HP, cold armor, no, we're good. This one is for lease. And the <laughs> sign on the door says please. Or is antiques, no, we're good. Are you sure you want to leave without checking your phone messages? Okay. You check the message pad next to the phone. There's a note for you. Call Don T. Okay, call them up. Don Toblerone speaking. Don? That was usually concise. Are you feeling okay? The boss is mad about our telephone bill. I have been encouraged to keep this brief. Okay, what's the job? Greasy Steve will have the details for you. Okay. But I already talked to the, you know, the, the greasy guy. Oh, look at this. The frat guy you helped out when he lost his jacket. Thanks for helping him. You still cold? No? Nice. Gotcha. See, we got a lot of people here. Everybody's just fancy. Ghost pad. Nice. Hey, bro. 90, 190 in meat. Nice. Okay. Mysticality, moxie, cancel. Leave. Uh, one is condemned. Crunches and bludgeons. Jarred wood, hard work. This might be good. War gloves, no. Anarchist hardware. Fuse. 
match. I'm gonna bite. This is good. Mm. I wonder if we can make something. No. Some of these guys have... Yeah, this one. Fancy combat items. Sting bomb. This one. Nuclear bomb, for instance. And another fancy combat item. Uh, deal 5 leads. Stench damage. Heal all eyes. Look at this. Fancy combat items. Uh... In 3 AP and increase AP regeneration. Okay, select. Okay, we cannot. And, uh, do 5 sleeves damage and reduce Moxie by 5. Restore 10 HP. And cure bleeding. Yeah. Restore HP, self only. And let's see if over here, no, this is mine. And over here, no. And over here. And we cook something? No. Okay, I guess we're good. Let's just go back to the swamp. The big moist. So, let's see. Um, you see that there is no notice. The poster grabs your attention. Missing Tom Chapman. Okay. The face of a teenage boy is circling an attached photograph. Missing Kathy Tracy. Inquire the management. Make a missing poster for Charles. That's good. So when you don't have paper with which to make a poster, you could write Charles' names on the two that are already there. Uh, uh, no, maybe we don't do anything. Let's see. Do I have side quests for this? Don't he wants you to go talk to Stevie Grease? Okay. Rufus wants to collect the three pounds of uh, eggs. Yeah. This smart rat wants the okay, but those are like quests for the other area. I want to advance a little bit over here. Is there anything else you want to wander aimlessly through a fetish swamp? You know it. No, we don't. We're just walking stupid. We will entrust the rickety old shelter to protect you from a single raindrop. Agreed. You know, you already noticed everything worth noticing. Okay, I cannot add the thing for Charles then. Okay, let's see map. So we got this and we got that. I guess we're gonna go to the Moonshiners Cave. Here in the Big Moist. You find the arm of a traveling salesman sticking out of the ground. Given the condition of the arm, it seems like the body it's attached must have been down there for quite some time. Grab the ring. The ring slips easily off the arm's finger because the finger is both wet and withered with decay. One or the other would have sufficed. You got an item, drumstick ring. Give the arm a proper burial. Okay. Every time you try to dig, the hole immediately fills up with water. You decide to just use the shovel to press the arm down below the surface. Call in a day. It's a day. Okay, let me see something about the drumstick ring. With this, you'll always have an extra drumstick handy in case you accidentally toss one into the crowd trying to do a stupid quill tr uh, trick. Tricky Timpani also reduces its target muscles, mysticality, and moxie by one. Interesting. I have the Ring of Repulsion. Begin every combat with shield. Ring of Repulsion, Mordring, 
traveling salesman banishes wandering shadow creatures. I'm thinking we should actually start trying to use that one because the shadow creatures can kick our ass, but also. Can. Okay, so we are here. What do we have? Somebody's old campsite. It looks trash. Investigate. Amidst all the garbage strewn about, you find a shiny 7 8 combination wrench with CW paint on the side. You got an item. Charles' wrench. That's strange. Obviously, this belongs to uh, Charles. He doesn't seem like the guy, type, uh, kind of guy who would lose one of his tools carelessly. Not the kind of guy who would leave trash around his campsite. You look around more carefully and discover weird tracks in the mud. Big, clawed, bipedal tracks. Maybe gator man tracks? There's a spot where some kind of scuffle clearly happened. Oh jeez. Well, that tears it. Charles Wallace must have gotten kidnapped by Gator Man. Maybe he dropped the wrench on purpose to attract your attention. Hopefully you can find him soon. Okay. No fishing. This must be referring to the deeper water that's way over to the right. Like over here, you see? Disobey. Okay, we got a fish in a sack. A slithering puke fish. Ew. Okay, we are disobeying right now. Rusty colic. Disobey again. Fish in a sack. Okay, we got everything that we want. Let me see something about the character sheet. We got 187. And... Two materials gathering. Tony Hart. I know, I know I said I was going to like increase these ones, but since we already got into the Cerberus Bank, we might do other things. This one is the one, 1 AP regeneration. Okay, I'm gonna wait for get to get a little bit more. Gab with Gabby. Hey Gabby, everything alright? All is keen as a peach. Chew the fat. Hey, wait, what are you eating? Mm, come again? Go, moss. Want some? No thanks, I'm good. Clap the gums a little bit more. I sure hope Charles is still okay. Charles is full of resources. Gabby is certain he will be dandy and fine. So it's okay if we just wander off and do side quests for a while? Sure. Two more a little bit of fun. How do you feel about um, mud? Gabby likes it. Okay, so let's go into this thing. Moonshiner's Cave. Oh, one of the things. Weird shadow pocket or couch or pouch or something. Reach inside. We got a shadow salad. Shadow pocket vanishes with an otherworldly pop. These four trucks have been fitted with Lincoln tires. That's a little ominous. Okay, so these are a couple of shady looking characters furtively skulking in this cave. You see, furtively. We're gonna talk to them. Uh, hi. Hi, hello. Are you Jarvis and uh, Clem Shields? Uh, no, I'm Clem. He's Jarvis. Shut up, Clem. He might be a probe. Uh, oh, I ain't Clem. And I ain't Jarvis. Okay, relax, relax. I just saw the poster on the bus stop and got curious. I'm not gonna turn you in. My name is Fuzzy. Whew, well, that's a relief. Sure is. Good to meet you, Fuzzy. What are you two doing in this weird cave? Got ourselves in a right predicament. Is what we've done. Uh, what happened? Well, me and Jarvis been brewing up homemade hooch to sell. Been stashing it in the back of this here cave. We got wind that the probies was on our trail. So we figured we better cheese it. Pull the old 23 skidoo, you know? Uh, I don't know what the 23 skidoo is. Uh, come to find a pack them mean lizard varmints uh, got into the hooch. They won't give it back. We were thinking we'd just take the loss and blow, but we hit another snack. A kind of snack. I went and locked the keys in the truck. See, don't get what you go do a full thing like that for. I told you. It ain't like I went and did it on purpose or nothing. Hmm. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Look at this. We're just walking stupid with a flashlight. So. Yep, it's locked all right. You could probably jimmy the door open if you had a coat hanger. In fact, I do. You get the car unlocked, but your coat hanger gets ruined in the process. Shucks. Okay, so we did one thing for these guys. 
So, I unlocked your truck. I got your truck unlocked for you. Well, dang, that's a lot of money, man. Thanks, Paul. I'm driving this time. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's fair. Okay, we're gonna leave them for now. Okay, we got... We, we, look, at, look at this guy over here. He has, like, the crazy eyes because he's been drinking the moonshine. And there's, like, a cook over here. And this guy has a beard, I'm guessing. What is that? Vein of confident limestone. Get some advice. We got the impregnable shellac, energizing powder, and powerful grit. Nice. Okay, these gator men have gotten into the Schlitz brothers' stat of hooch. They're popping the bottle caps off with their teeth, gosling down the contents, and just generally having too much of a good time to take notice of you. Approach them. They growl at you menacingly, playing to sauce to just jump up and attack you. On the other hand, if you get too near their booth, that could change in an instant. Okay, so we could fright them because we got the bamboozle. We're gonna do that. Oh, you guys are really into that baby formula. You must be missing some vitamins or something. Booze good! Wait, baby? Yeah, we feed that stuff to human babies so they grow up big and strong like me. You hold up your arm and pat a barely visible bicep. Drink booze, make strong? Humans weak. Hey now, I live on that stuff when I was a kid, and I'm in big physical shape. Wanna see me do a push-up? Pretty free, uh, feeling pretty good. I bet I could do two or three. The gator men are so disgusted by this, they drop the bottles and stomp away without even pausing to pick you up. Nice. We did the bamboo swing, you see? And now we're just walking stuff. Okay, Gabby, get over here. Oh, there's a thing over here. Ah, the vein of confident limestone. We got some advice from it. That was a hushed up poem, by the way. Darwin and Glam's coach was left up. Okay, we grab it. Well, there's a, a lot of stuff. You grab a case since you're heading back anyway. And Jarvis and Clem can hold the rest themselves. You got an item. Okay, we got the thing. Is there anything else here? Let me see if we got in the to-do list. No, we still have the ones from the SIT. Okay. Uh, Clem nods kindly at you. Jarvis is clearly fretting about their hooch. You know, I dealt with the gators. You can get your hooch. At least what's left of it. You hand over your pay the case you picked up. Well, heck, that's great news. Thanks, fella. We'll get to loading the truck in a jiffy. Look like you guys are good to go now? Sure does. Thank you, mailing fella. You really save our bacon. And how? We ain't got much to offer you by way of rewards, but feel free to grab a crate of hooch, uh, a crate of hooch as a thank you. You got a nice case of whiskey. You gain 40 XP. Thank you. They quickly load the rest of the hooch into the back of the truck and drive away. Unfortunately, uh, you forgot to pay attention to how they uh, they get the truck through that weird three hole. Oh well, maybe next time. Anything else over here? No. I think we're done here. Let me see something about the. No, sorry, it's a character. W which one is uh, character sheet? C. So yeah, we have enough for the AP regeneration. Yes. We have the effects. We're good. But Fuzzy is looking at something in the floor. Okay, it's okay. We go. So we did the moonshiners thing. Let's go. I'm guessing to this. The the bands and songs. Oh, do you know what there is? Here? Uh, there's mud and mud. No, not here, nearby. You have to go pretty far before it is mud. Yes, but it's a henge. Mud henge. A local tourist attractor. Gabby has read about that but never went. Location unlock? Mud henge. Okay, we're we'll probably gonna check it out later. You know? it's mud henge. Okay, we are the largemouth bass and sons. And you can see there's, there's them fishes just, just jumping out of the lake. I mean, the, the mud. This is a... It's a... It's a swamp. So... State your business. One, business. Do what you must then, but for your own good, don't hang around. Largemouth bass and sons is cursed of late, stranger. Sales are down. Children going missing. The bosses have stopped speaking to one another. I would quit, but God tell me, I love the damn fish. What goes on at this place? A largemouth bass and sons? We fish largemouth bass. 
and most of us are sons. Why don't the bosses speak to one another? Between you and me and 3,600 large mouth bass, Mr. Chapman and Tracy haven't been on speaking terms since Mr. Chapman was snubbed at the Academy Awards a few years back. They tolerate each other only because they perform a function to the business. Which is... Mr. Tracy debones the fish, and Mr. Chapman rebones them. Only then are the fish ready for sale at market. Are you saying you take out the fish bones and then put them back in? It's tradition. For generations, the Chapman has deboned the bass, and the Tracy rebones them. That unique process is what gives our bass its distincting fang. Okay, what do you think happened to the kids you were mentioning? If you ask me, that is what I just did. Hell, they ran off. This life isn't for everyone. And Tom and Kathy, they never had the makings of a largemouth bass deboner or reboner. Okay, I'll be going. So apparently, there's a couple of kids missing. A case of whiskey. This is for the speakeasy. And this is just... Yeah, those are effects. Don't wait, Mr. Tracy's time. The guard eyes you suspicious. The guard seems a little nervous. Can we go over that? Are the shotguns keeping you out or something else in? Who cares? I'm going inside. Okay, this is the Tracy house. Okay, sorry. Okay, a visit. Emptied to magnify the misfortune of my stolen daughter. Any idea who did this? I have my suspicions. Suspicions, yes. When did this happen? Three nights ago. Still in shock. Can't even muster the strength to close the safe. I can do that for you. It's not, it's not hard. Would you? Sure. It's now closed, you see? Okay, let's talk to this guy. The grizzled mariner must hate being stuck behind a desk. Talk to him. Greetings, as a mariner, do you hate being stuck behind a desk? Excuse me, I make six figures a year behind this desk. And mind your manners. You are addressing Adam Tracy, chief deboning officer of Largemouth Bass and Sons. Are you here about Kathy? I saw some poster about missing children. That's right. Three nights ago, Kathy disappeared, along with all her clothes and processions, the contents of that safe there, and the company truck. Oh, and the Chapman kid. Oh, they eloped. It sounds like she might have run away from home. I'll excuse the remark as you don't know my Kathy, but suffice it to say that's impossible. Kathy loves large male bass, almost as much as assuming preordained roles in a multi-generational family business. No, Kathy would not simply leave home. There is a much simpler explanation. Occam's Gator. Occam's Gator? Like Occam's Razor? Razor? A monstrous gator man, centuries old, ten feet tall, if he's an if he's an inch, which scales as blue as the deepest ocean. He has two tails as sharp as razors, and he's not afraid to shave them. His appetites are insatiable. He'll strike at night, double up our fish, gun, tax returns, whatever. And now I fear my cat. I keep listening. I don't know what we need to provoke his ire. But that beast has bullied and bothered our business since my grandfather was in toddle pants. Sometimes think the swamp itself has summoned him up to be our tormentor. You think Uncom's gator ate Kathy? You have to understand, for decades, Uncom's gator has been the sole author of this business misfortune. Could he eat a child? Absolutely. That is M.O. or monstrous operandi. Okay. Occam Ray Gator sums made up. My friend Charles is missing. Could Occam have taken him too? Certainly it's possible. I don't think the criminality of Occam Gators knows any, any bounds. Um, if Occam ate Cathy, are we too late? Not necessarily. Occam's only handicap is his glacially slow digestion. Go ask Sylvester. A guard of ours. He was swallowed up by Oakham, but by stripping off in his belly and greasing his body in Oakham's own fast, 
uh, uh, fat, he was able to slither up and out of Oakham's jaw while the great beast slept. Okay, where do I find Sylvester? I don't know. We have to terminate him for attempting to unionize. Okay, you know, Oakham Gator sounds made up. There's nothing made up about a giant blue gator man who eats guns. One of our guards actually saw Occam's, even took a shot at him, but conventional weapons have no effects. Now you need, you need phase plasma rifles, second generation if possible. Are you saying you haven't seen Occam's gator? I've seen the destruction she's rock. Certainly seen that. Is there a finder's feed? 300 meat, my grandfather's fishing rod. But I'm running the show, alright? Not Chapman. I know he's got a missing boy too. But you can't just involve a reborner in an operation like this. They're far too emotional. You're dealing with me, you keep him out of this. That's what's special about the fishing rod. What's special about it is it can catch things that you scientists would say are impossible to find in water. How about that? So it doesn't catch fish. Yes, fish. We're also impossible. Deal. Good. Now Peter, our guard by the front gate, was the last to see Oakham's gator in the sickening flesh. Peter chased him out of our property to a revolting little hamlet, but dare not enter himself. I'll mark it on your map. I'm convinced that we're uh, convinced that where you'll find Oakham's, and inside Oakham's, Kathy. Location unlocked. Gator Man Hamlet. Now bring him home. Hear me? Okay. I'll be on my way. I'll be on my way. What is this? Though the knife of the deboner doth still shape largemouth bass and the world through our actions, there are legions who do not believe and will stir down thy work. The book is there. What do we have over here? You're not close enough to read this. Yes, I am. Academy of Fresh and Saltwater Game Fish. Certificate of nomination for award be it known that Adam Tracy was nominated for an Academy Award of Merit for Outstanding Achievement, Best Deboning, Basketing. Looking for something? What's back there? Crew quarters, off limit. You live here? Where the fish live? We live. Can I go inside? No. That's a space for the Tracy family. Like a crypt. Can I go to that? Better not. Okay. Is the mess through there? Oh, I don't mind. I don't mean it's messy. I'm saying that's the room where we have meals. It's a type of mess. You know, like a mess hall. I thought they only really used that term in armed forces. You don't consider fishing to be part of the armed forces? What do you think we use to hold the rods? Arms? That's right. Okay, so we talked to this guy. Uh, we're gonna go fishing. I hope you're not planning on sticking that rod in there. Large uh, bass and sons have the exclusive license to fish those waters. Is there any way I can fish here? No. Large mouth bass and sons has the fishing rights. Flex and say fishing might make fishing right. That adds to my get you places a small mouth bass and nephews. Would we run things differently? Here? Okay, fine, fine. Sign identifies these waters as a site of historical importance. This pool is the birthplace of Largemouth Luke, the bass present, present at the signing of the Declaration of Independence. On August 2, 1792, he returned to his home waters to die, but his body was never found. There is a guy here looking at The viscous puddle reflects a gloomy face. Talk to, him. Talk to the puddle of the man. The man, please. What's the matter with you? She left me. Who left you? Amphibious truck. Oh, she's not a person. No, I'm more interested in amphibious truck. So what happened to your truck? Our truck. It's the company's truck. We use it to take the fish to market. A couple nights ago, I forgot to fill her up before bed. That must have really ticked her off, because the next morning she was gone. No, no. Could have it anything to do with the missing kid. Tom and Kathy, you have to talk to Mr. Chagman or Mr. Uh, Mr. Trace about that. Maybe they took the truck? I don't know, seems like a stretch. When do the children go missing? Same day as the truck, but I think that's probably a coincidence. What's this bottle here? It's the gas I never gave her that night. It's here, now, in a special place. Waiting for her. Waiting for her to come back. How far could have someone gone in the truck? With the gas left in her, could have gone further than a hundred miles. 
a hundred miles, a hundred miles. Okay, no, a hundred. Sorry, hundred is fisherman lingo. It means eleven. Missing truck. Uh, are you suggesting the truck is sentient? Funny. I wouldn't have thought so, but I can't see any other explanation for it running off the way it has. Missing truck, huh? That's a shame. She'll be back. She has to come back. She'll run out of the gas otherwise. And then, where she will be. Good luck with the truck, bro. So, 11 miles. Okay, the game seems happy, skeptical. Chapman cows. There's a cat over here. Fisherman cats are a touchy sort. Regards uh, unproven outsiders with the highest suspicion. Try to pet her. Cats avoid your touch. Get the sense that only true loyalty to the fisherman cause will overcome its suspicions of you. Alas. What do we have here? Chum bucket is inscribed. A stranger is just a chum you haven't met yet. Take it. The bucket is secured to the floor. Those are the carton. And the chum inside? Very first batch of chum ever made by largemouth bass and sons. Back in the summer of 1803. Reminds us of, of our humble, humble beginnings. Can I have it? Champagne for my real chums. Real pain for my champ chums. Okay, let's just talk to this guy. Hello there, I wonder, do you ever wish you had a glorious dead at sea? Oh, many a sea creature has tried to give me one paw, but before they can get their teeth in me, I've rebound them six ways to sun die. He spits a wad of chewing tobacco out the door. God Chapman, chief reboning officer, large mound bass and sons. You must be Fuzzy, the one I hear has thrown in with, uh, he, in his lot with that woeful deboner next law. Surprise, I know your name? Well, the large mouth bass have ears. I'd like to talk about your son. I'm not sure I want to discuss my son with a confederate of Kathy uh, K- 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 Crazy, that Jezebel of a deboner's daughter. She's a delinquent sorceress who never cared a Walt Whitman for what we do here with large mouth bass. She let my tongue into the belly of Oakham Gator. Oh, Malcolm Gator, I've heard of him. Chapman cheeks darken to a murky hue of humpback, un- humpback anglerfish. As long as there has been a large mouth bass and sons, there has been an Oakham's Gator to a great misfortune. I venture that there no- there's no creature of land nor sea quite so terrible. Twelve feet tall he is, red as a furnace, with smoke billowing from his nostril. Oh, the other guy says he was blue, with scales. He and his rapacious appetites are a plague on our business. He'll, ever, he'll eat everything we've got. Large amount ma- bass. Everything. Keep me up at night wondering what we did to deserve him. It is a sin against the land to both debone and rebone fish? Perhaps, perhaps. But damn it, that would give us our bass. It's sin. So, how is Caddy responsible? Well, the arrogance of youth, Kathy Crazy never thought she had anything to fear from Oakham's gator. She didn't respect him. Several times I caught her attempting to summon the beast by shouting his name three times in a mirror or directly into the mouth of a bass. It was always going to end with her in Oakham's belly. I just didn't think my tongue would be fool enough to go. You're being a little sexist, don't you think? Not remotely. I'm not saying anything about her gender at all. I'm only saying she may have got my boy eaten by a gator man. But when you throw words like Jezebel around, that's a little loaded, bro. Is it? Well, I didn't mean anything by it. I'm willing to change, but you have to be patient with me, alright? I'm old-fashioned. Can't keep up with all of these new ideas your generation has. Gender. Penicillin. Do you think Tom could ever run away on his own? Absolutely not. Tom's a third-generation bass boy. Proud and true. Why, just last month he said, I'm excited about my future in reboning largemouth bass, Dad. Does that sound like the words of a boy with one foot out the door? No. There's a simpler explanation. The siren song of Kathy Tracy, who lures good men into the bellies of gators. That's all I wanted to ask about yourself. That's all I wanted to ask. I'm looking for someone myself, Charles Wallace. Uh, is he a fish? No. Then I'm not the person to ask. I'm a fisherman, friend. My bag is fish. If you're looking for a human, you want to be asking some sort of human fisherman. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you can joke through your son's abduction. Fear does terrible things to the mind. I pray you never know a torment like mine. I just said my friend was missing. 
his expression turns sour. Now that you poke the hole in his premise, he has lost interest in the conversation. Okay, I don't know where your friend is, all right? Easy. We go over here. The mess? Yes, this is the mess. Can I go inside? I don't see any need for that. That's a failure of imagination on your part. I'll live. Assassin, see? Lo, with the reborning knife of righteousness, has a complete bass been for the book of Karras. What's back there? Your quarters? How would you know that? That there, Mr. Tracy has it. Maybe the two of you are more similar than you'd like to admit. Back up, Freud. Can I go inside? Into our family private quarters? I'd uh, sooner let a dogfish loose in my socks. Is that something you do? Rarely. What lies beyond that door is only for fishermen. What is it? Fish. Can I fish here? Ha! Just a lot of the bullcrap. You know? Okay. Anything else over there? Okay, I guess we go and visit Oakham's Gator. This is Gator Man Hamlet. You find some glowing green rocks have submerged in some ba brackfish swamp water. You recognize it as petrified sand Elmo's fire. Click good things. We got glowing ooze. Nice. Okay, so we got... This looks like the same gators that were at the cave because this is the one that looked like a cook. And that was the one with a beard and they left over there. I don't know what's going on. Another one of those gator men campsite. Maybe the ones who kidnapped Charles came this way. Investigate. Campsite is similar to the previous one. A lot of gator men tracks, a lot of discarded trash. These gator men sure are sloths. You also find a 1516 uh, combination wrench labeled CW. Looks like you're on the right track at least. You got an item. Charles other wrench. Okay, do we? A uh, guard stops in their tracks and starts sniffing around suspiciously. They're almost certain to notice you if you get any closer. Wait, what am I looking at here? Oh, have you not seen a gator man yet? Sorry, it's hard to keep track. These guys are... Uh, these are the guys Jessica mentioned. And they're pretty much what you expect from the name gator man. They're intelligent, upright walking alligators. They have tough, scaly skin. Lots of teeth. PC attitudes about everything that aren't already eating. They especially hate intruders and are the second biggest reason why this swamp is in a popular tourist attraction. The first being, it's a swamp. In any case, staying put isn't an option. Which way do you want to go and how? Toward them, charge. Away from them, recharge? Retreat. Uh, okay, away from them. Okay, we're, we're here, you see, we're back there. So, let me see in the inventory. I want to see Charles Wrench. Charles dropped this 7 8 combination wrench. Return it to Charles when you find him. Same thing here. These are quest items. Okay. So, these guys are going to go over there. Okay. We are here. There seems to be a gator is napping over there. There's no shame in taking it as news. Please let me out. The handle on this fridge is busted. This is going to be a headache come lunchtime. Try to open the door. No dice. No door opening either. Whoever smashing the handle wanted to keep you out. Or something. Uh, keep something in. Magical talking sandwich, maybe. For the door, it requires seven muscles. Is there anything else here? I could increase my muscle. Let's see. We got six muscles. You can probably just change to something that gives me a little bit more muscle this one okay you have nothing to fear from me okay force the door with great efforts you force the door open released from his refrigerated cage a cold man screams out into the muck gasping for air my god, you're my savior. One more day trapped in there and I would have succumbed completely to despair. Who are you? I am Fabian, an illustrator of the natural sciences. Arid steps, uh, the st step. 
uh, glittering burgs of ice. Lately, my interests have taken me to these damp lands. I am in my soggy period. How did you get in there? I was traveling to the swamp to sketch the native uh, cypress, only to be caught in a net by this gator-esque man. First, they allowed me to roam within the confines of this camp, but when I shouted for help at the passing truck, I was put into the refrigerator. What truck? It hurled through the camp like a bass out of hell. It was a boy and a girl at the wheel, and I called out, Stop! I am a prisoner. Take me with you. But they drove on. What makes a person do that? Interesting. We're getting some clues. Where was the truck headed, bro? North of here. Sure of it. North, huh? North. Since that driver, a largemouth bass and sons, was confident the truck could only make it 11 miles at most, if you subtract from 11 the distance between this camp and the fishery, since with deductive euphoria you do some quick calculations, which in your haste come out very wrong. You do them again, not rushing it this time. Produce a promising lead. Location unlock. An amphibious truck? Nice. Okay, we're gonna ask about Charles. Have you come across my friend out here, Charles Wallace? Charles? No. I will remember meeting someone with such an unusual name. Do you know of a creature called Occam's Gator? Uh, Occam's Gator. Supposedly a large gator with two tails who breathes smoke from its nostrils. Oh yes, I think you're describing my mother-in-law. <laughs> okay, so you don't know. No, and I apologize, I shouldn't have said that. Melanie has always been kind to me. Okay. Every weekend she bakes me a ball of nougat. I apologize, Melanie. Say goodbye. You wanna leave? The way out is more or less clear. I don't want to leave. That is a good guess. If we are meet again, it would honor me to paint your portrait. I am an artist, you know. Cannot paint you right away, as I am in my soggy period. But if I conclude that work, or if you become soggy, well, who knows? I am fuzzy, though. Who knows? Indeed. Okay. So this guy is gone. Refrigerator is still running. Where are they getting the electricity for this? And that I am not in a refrigerator or something to say. Okay. A save. Hanging in an unsafe manner from the seat. Open it. You got a combination lock on it. You don't know the combination. Right. Sleeping gator man. Unless he's dying, lying about being asleep. Do not let him lie. Okay, is there anything else around here? We're not gonna let him lie. Okay, if you say so. What would you like to do as an alternative to letting this gator man continue sleeping? I'm gonna search him with the moxie. Uh, you reach into the water, carefully grope the gator man pocket. At least you hope those are pockets. You find a scrap of paper. You got an item. Gator man safe combination. Eureka! Okay, open it. You gain 266 me. Score! Nice. Okay, we're not gonna wake up that guy. Ambush them! Okay, we got the Ring of Repulsion. So, what we are going to do here is we're going to start this by adding the Sacks of Violence. There you go. And now, I'm going to... What do we have here? Summon a Tentacle. No, I don't want the Tentacle. Change armor. Deal this, this, that. No. Keep Fuzzy Bart shield. Decrease Gatorman with muscle mysticality. Give Fuzzy Bart the armor. Got a lot of stuff over here. I need to start using it. Cause Gatorman to bleed for five. Restore the HP. Deal if. No. this deal to risk damage puncture custom three you play okay we're gonna just use that one. punctured okay nice and now I will go ahead Fussy Barth Thaddeus Fussy Bar okay this guy we're gonna keep working on him we're gonna work the body a little bit. Okay, that guy is gone. 
I was shielded, bro. I was shielded. Okay, you are gonna take a lot of damage. Okay, so... Flop slap that guy. And now he's irritated. I took a lot of damage of that. Okay, good. We got some regen, we got some stuff. Okay, this guy is going to attack Gabby. So we're not going to allow that. Mm. Increase Fussy Thing. Jazz Hands. And we're going to... Let's see. I wanna like use these things. Summon a Tin Lizzy. No, but that works only in Ocean City. Move on fire. Okay, I'm gonna just throw that at this guy. You could bleed. And I'm going to decrease the thing for this guy. Actually, we're going to yeah, that minus five to all stats. And now we should be able to just mess him up. There we go. And you are going to flap slap this guy. Nice. Stench. Thank you, Thaddeus. I'm just gonna kill this guy. That's it. You dispatch the guard gators. The path forward is clear. We got a lot of stuff. Onward then. Which is okay. The guards stop in their tracks, start sniffing around. More of them. Okay. Like I said, this is this is the same trio we saw the other time. So we're gonna start by add the sacks of violence. Okay, that guy was shielded. And now he's not shielded anymore. And now what are you going to do? He intends to heal his most wounded ally for HP. Okay. That's a healer. Scream. Increases all of the salad by one, decreasing your party stats by the same amount. Going to munch a mushroom. We will have in unpredictable effects. You know what? We're gonna launch one of these. Boom. There you go. And we are going to mess that guy up. So he cannot heal. He's gone. Okay. So. 25 and 18. You're gonna flap slap. Nice. Got a little bit with the sacks of violence there. Uh, let's see. Whistle that. Okay, that's good. And okay, we're gonna deal the damage to this guy, and that's gonna kill him. Okay, the next sacks of violence is gonna kill him. In the meantime, we're just gonna work on this guy. There we go. And flop flop. Nice. I am the terror that stalks the swamp. So. Oh. Can we go here? Okay, what do Gatorman Hamlet? This seems to be where the Gatorman store all of the terrible filth. You see? There's a filth over here. Nothing nothing but filth. Forge, personally for hammering on terrible gator metals. Nothing there. 
a rack of horrible looking weapons grabbing me. You go to the swamp banjo. Okay. Terrible rusty metal fridge dangles from the ceiling of this terrible rusty metal hovel. Raid it. Get some stuff. What about this guy? Gatorman seems less aggressive than is typical for these guys. Talk to him. Hi there. Greet human, not eat. Greet. Thanks, appreciate that. Seem a bit more relaxed than the rest of the gator folk. Yes, everybody crazy, done no reason. Not belong. Leave swamp. Where would you go? Don't know. Wonder? Oh, like a hobo? Hobo? What that? Basically someone who travels from place to place because they're looking for work or just don't have any word specific to be. Yes, gator hobo. First thought. Need weapon. Defense self. Okay, we're gonna ask about a hobo code. Do you know any hobo code you could teach me? Hobo code? What that? Alright, you wouldn't know any yet. It's like little symbols that hobos use to leave message for other hobos. Here, I can show you some of the basic ones. You teach him the symbol for safe cam, cops here, and the increasingly rare and exciting pie on Windows. Or from him a weapon. I'm gonna give you this spider, the, the baseball bat, you know? Okay. How about this baseball bat? No thanks, weapon we need power. Okay, I'll try to find you something stronger. Uh, oh. um, how about this gator stick, which I'm never going to use? Weak weapon, need power. Well, okay, so what, what is it that you want? Swamp banjo. Weak weapon. More than f I think that's the, 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 the thing that has more base damage that I have. How about the sharpen extra mold Daringer? Okay, you know what's great. Okay, see you later, bro. Okay, what do we have here? A, a, a dangling glob of revolting organic matter. There's bees over here. To leave or not to leave, that is the question. This is apparently where the gator men keep their billions upon billions of swarming bugs. Exterminate some of them. Okay. Let's go with a sax. That does a little bit of damage. Now... Mm, heal. Decreased swarm of stink bugs, muscle mysticality. I don't need that. Okay, let's see these guys. How much are they going to try to... 19 damage. Wow. That is actually a lot. Okay, these guys are hardcore. I'm just gonna use one of these. Nook it. Okay, that was good because they are they are going to deal a lot of damage. Flea Orchestra is tuning its instruments. Okay. I'm going to attack this one then. Okay, that's gone. Yeah, look at that. Okay, you are going to flap slap that one. Or actually, that one attacked. I'm going to flap slap this one. Okay, it's gone. That one was tuning the instrument. Okay, good. So, uh. Cause you're familiar to act twice. Deal the damage to this thing. Now we're going to deal the damage to this thing and we're done. You reduce the number of bugs in this terrible building to let's say 484. Excellent. And I will shake away the cloudy skies with the California lullaby. And when you're frozen with desire, we'll put our toes. I will sing your cares away 
So let me take you back to paradise All you gotta do is close your eyes And when you're frozen with desire We'll put our toes up to the 